so welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be a shop my stash for the next two weeks uh, we're gonna go ahead or I'm gonna go ahead first and show you what I've had in here for the past two weeks uh, I'll tell you what I think about the products I'm gonna pull some stuff out some stuff I'm gonna keep in and then I'll go ahead and shop my stash I'll show you everything that I'm gonna pull in for the next two weeks and then at the end we'll do swatches I'll have timestamps in the description box I know these videos tend to be long and I know a lot of people like them long like that I do swatches so I'm gonna keep doing them as they are um, but if you just want to see like the next two weeks uh, like what I'm gonna pull for the next two weeks I'm gonna have time steps time stamps in the des description box who can I speak maybe I need to slow down um, so check in the description box I'll have time stamps so you can jump ahead to the new polls or uh, I'll also have the time stamp for when I come back in here I'll show you what everything looks like and do swatches then uh, if you want to see the whole thing, just keep on watching. Before I forget, our yeah, before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and get started this time with eyeshadow palettes. Talking about the eyeshadow palettes that I had in here for the past two weeks, um, because my friend Kena, same with my friend Mariella, they both asked uh, if I could do swatches comparison between the Uma palette and the subculture sorry it's like this these drawers are kind of awkward i'm trying to pull all the palettes that i had pull them all out the eyeshadow palettes so uh the first palette that i had in here was the natasha denona mini gold palette i really enjoyed this uh there's quite a bit of green shades i've used every single shade of them and i was really happy with all of them all five shades so I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out. Um, the Huda Beauty, the Rich Palette, the Nudes Rich Palette. I really love this palette. Uh, I just filmed a Get Ready With Me, or I did film a Get Ready With Me with this palette on like last week, Friday. I'll, um, it posted on uh, Tuesday. So I'll have it linked in the description box as well as in the cards above if you want to see my get ready with me It is chatty long get ready with me, um, but I use this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out I really really like it. Um, I get to use uh, The shimmers a little bit more after I filmed that video. So I'm really happy with that the jacket I know I kind of feel like I want to keep it in here It didn't get as much love as I wanted to give it. I only used like these six shades in here I didn't touch any of these so I think I'm gonna keep this guy in here for one more go so I'm gonna put this guy back in here the subculture I, I just love this palette it's one of my favorite palettes it just screams fall I love the grungy looks that I get with it and um, I mentioned in my last shop my stash that I picked up this one from Uma Beauty Uma Yuma Uma I'm gonna say Uma I think it's Uma and I showed like how similar the palettes, like how similar they look, some of these shades. So um, both my friend Kena and my friend Mariella, I'll have both of their channels in the description box. Go ahead, check them out. Um, they both asked if I could do swatches, kind of like comparing them. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll do the ones that look kind of obvious. For example, like these here, I can definitely spot them. Here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches real quick. So we'll do one by one. So they'll be right next to each other. Okay, just a little bit different. They both feel like really creamy. Um, have my wipes right next to me. Let's do this guy from Uma. Gonna build this guy up, looks like it. I think. To me, this is the most similar. This guy is a little more mustardy. Okay, so Uma subculture. Uma subculture. Let me wipe my hand. I think you would be able to get kind of like same vibe looks um, if that's what you're looking for. I know a lot of people don't like the formula of the subculture. Or if you just don't have the subculture and you're interested about trying Uma. Okay, this is a little bit more, um, kind of has like a, a little more, more blue where this is just green green. Probably not the best spot to swatch this. Okay, there's that. Let me wipe my fingers. 
then how about we do this one I know this one is a little bit definitely a little different yeah it's much different than this is I would say this is a little bit more similar to the Uma but they're still not obviously I don't think it is meant to be a dupe or anything like that but I, I just thought that it was kind of shocking how close they are I'm gonna move the swatch in over here because I have no more room okay and then let's do the subculture I mean there really is a difference in the formula hopefully you can tell from the swatches um, needed build up intense first go round maybe my finger was just a little wet so it is drier it doesn't feel as powdery but some people might really like that they look very similar I think blending them on the eye um, they would be you can ach definitely achieve the same look let's do this shade here because this looks kind of similar to this one well maybe not this is I switch spots on you subculture and this is Yuma yeah it's not as um, corally it's a little more cool tone and definitely needs building up so there's that this one uh, and I mentioned this last time when I oh my goodness I mentioned this last time when I showed this palette I told you that I uh, these are completely different shades but I'm gonna put them right next to each other um, that I need glitter glue with these shades from Uma which is I'm okay with that I always have my glitter glue in here so it's fine so there's the two yellow shades um, definitely a little different this is a very unique shade this is really beautiful yellow though and while we're at it I think those are the only similarities I see in the palette but while we're at it I know I'm gonna have Uma in here for the next two weeks so let me just go ahead and finish swatching it um, why not uh, hopefully Mariella and uh, ooh, I guess maybe this is a little more similar to the subculture one than this shade was look how beautiful this color is this is one I swatched and I was just blown away hopefully Mariella and Kena um, found the swatches helpful um, again if you ever have requests for anything like that just leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely get to them oh my gosh these are beautiful you guys Ooh, this feels a lot more creamy I'm gonna go ahead and swatch there's one in the subculture that looks very similar to this shade so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it as well so here they all are these are all Uma 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 this is the one from subculture let me show you the one that I was thinking about I think cube might be similar to the shade lady of gold um, but let me clean my fingers so we don't change shades and get things mixed up cube although I think cube is a little more yeah definitely not similar at all maybe the shade is uh in the prism palette by anastasia anyway so here are the swatches from uma i'm really excited to play with it look how beautiful these glitters are um if i have to use a glitter glue i'm fine with that so there you go uh yeah i was saying like if you ever have requests for like you want something swatched just let me know in the comments below and i'll definitely do it um I, I just needed to do it first before I forget that my friends asked me uh, for the swatches. Okay, so now we did that. Um, I am going to go ahead and just stick this in here because I know I want to use it. And this is the Allure palette. Um, so anyway, so this is in here. I'll have uh, AB Anastasia, Jackie Aina, and Uma so far in here. Um, now that we got the eyeshadow palettes out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the rest. For powders, I had in here the Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder. I love this thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I want to play uh, with something else this time. Derma Blend uh, Illuminating Banana Powder. I really like it to set under my eye. I'm going to pull that out. Uh, this e.l.f. powder, the, I think it's like the HD powder or something like that. I 
I actually dumped, uh, I want to say a gram, I measured it, it was a gram of this, I uh, dumped it into another powder, mixed them together, and I like them that way, so I might end up doing this with this powder by itself, it's too finely milled, it goes everywhere, too white, um, not what I reach for, but I mixed it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I thought they looked really, really nice, because that one is a little chunky, and this is super fine, so I think they balanced out. Anyway, so I did that. Um, Laura Geller, this is in a project, uh, so it technically should stay here, so I'm going to keep it in here. This No Pore Blend Priming Waters, also I'm, I'm trying to finish it before the end of the year. I really want to finish this Hangover RX before the end of the year, but I'm going to pull this out because I pulled this in a project and that's not in a project. Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, I love this thing, I'm going to pull it out. I'm also trying to finish the SMAC Prep and Prime, so I'm going to keep working on that. Uh, the, the foundations, I had four foundations in here, but it's okay. We'll talk about them real quick. Essie Lauder Double Wear. I, uh, I really liked it mixed with the MAC Studio Face and Body. Uh, this is Light Pearl. I like it by itself too if I need my foundation to be like super long lasting. Um, but when I filmed my Get Ready With Me and like when I go to work, I do mix it with the MAC Studio because this has really beautiful glow to it and this is kind of super matte. So they kind of like give a really beautiful finish to the skin. They look really beautiful on the skin. Um, Koki, the full cover foundation. I This has been here for two goes. I really like it. I don't find that it lasts on me like not the most I can get is about 10 hours. And then the last foundation in here was the original MAC Face and Body. This is one of my favorite foundations. I know it doesn't last on me all day long. It's about four or five hours, but I'm okay with that. It's just so glowy and beautiful on the skin. Looks really beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Again, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Um, for highlighters, uh, I did have the Bobbi Brown. This is the Luxe Illuminating Powder in Golden Hour. This is so pretty. It really, really is pretty. Um, it's going to come out. I did have the Hourglass like Finishing Powder in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to put something else in. This is the Luminous Light, like the Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. I'm going to pull that out. Um, Anastasia Amerzi, I did get a chance to use it. I totally forgot that this was in here. So, um, keep it. I'm going to keep it in here. Uh, I really want to use it. Uh, this is, uh, I told you last time, this is a MAC, like the Mother of Pearl powder thing. It was shattered, so I repressed it. I love this blush. It's so stunning. Um, like the shade, it's so beautiful. It's like a glowy, it's stunning. Um, I'm going to pull it out. Hula by Benefit. Uh, I got some use out of this guy. Again, this was a birthday gift like the Ulta birthday gift I'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy out the other plush that I had in here is so pretty the cute little elephant um, this is by Shantikai and again this is really really beautiful it looks so natural on the skin let go ahead and pull it out I did have the NARS Dolce Vita in here um, I, again this is one I forgot that I have in here so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as well and then the Kaja the moon crystal and this is the shade tiger eye it's so pretty like makes your eyes just glisten I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy out as well I did have the Mac palettes in here um, the starring you like the holiday 2019 uh, palettes there I am yeah, I have no words. They are so beautiful. Um, I did use them in my Get Ready With Me. So again, if you're curious to see what they look like on the skin, um, I'll have that in the description box listed again and check the cards above. It'll, it'll be like linked up there. So they're going to come out, unfortunately, because yeah, I need to play with some new makeup. I'm ready to switch. Um, since we're like doing palette sort of thing, you know, face products, I did have Tarte, tar like the Tarte's Tarte Pro, what is it? Tarte's Pro Glow. Um, this contour shade is so beautiful. I really, really like it. I am going to go ahead and pull this out. I think I might pull a different, uh, like a cream contour this time. Um, so I'm going to pull this guy out. It's been in here for a couple weeks too, so... 
and this is by Kevin Aquan. This is the Glass Glow Face Illuminator, like face illuminator thing. This is the shade Prism Rose. I love it. I'm addicted. I am addicted. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It is so beautiful, so like, well, glass skin. It's not a highlighter, like a Tin Man highlighter. It's not like just, um, you know, spot me from space kind of highlighter. It's just a glow to the skin. Like it makes it look so glossy. I did get uh, something similar to this in my Ipsy. So I'm going to pull that one. I'm, I'm going to pull this guy out. I might pull the other one in. Um, that's it for in there. Now, for mascaras and eyeliners and whatnot, here's my glitter glue, it's always here. Um, my mascaras are going to stay. I'm going to go ahead and pull this concealer out. This is in a project. So this concealer is in a project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it, but I'm going to move it to over here. I know I pulled another concealer. I think this is the concealer I pulled last time, the Revolution Conceal and Define. Is that what it is? I'm gonna pull it out. I like it, but I'm, I'm ready to move it out. And the LA Girl Pro Conceal, I'm also gonna pull this guy out. Uh, the Sephora Eyeliner, this is supposed to be waterproof. What's the shade? Diving in Malaysia. Um, this didn't, it was not waterproof. It's really pretty, but it definitely did not stay in my waterline. I'm going to keep it in here. I do want to use it um, some more because I like smudging it like the top lash line like um, and then my lower lash line. But it's definitely not waterproof. It did move. Uh, this isn't a project. I pulled this guy in because I've been loving it and I want to keep using it. This is the Becca Corrector. Under eye brightening corrector is like you just use a little bit, dab it under the eye, just a little tiny bit, keep on patting until like no excess product is there, and then I use a concealer on top. I love it. Um, the Max, this is also like the holiday 2019 starring you collection. Uh, this is like that magnetic spellbound shadow. Look how pretty. I mean, it just stays in there doesn't fall out no fallout no fallout uh, this is the shade stairs to the stars it looks like it's a um, what are they called like pigments that are just gonna fall out but no uh, I use this also in my get ready with me I applied glitter glue and then I applied this it's so pretty like the swatch doesn't do it justice but application is really nice um, look how itty bitty this guy is now I need to sharpen it too Whew, that's why I'm keeping that eyeliner in here. Um, this guy is gonna be out soon. Max Paint Pot stays in the project. In the project. Oh, I pulled this guy in one of the days just to test it out. Um, I haven't yet, so I'm gonna keep it in here. And for setting sprays, I'm gonna pull both of these out. The Photo Finish Setting Spray, Weightless Setting Spray. I found that this kind of like gave me a lot of luminosity or doing us uh, it did definitely make my makeup last so I'm gonna I'm gonna move something else in I don't know I mean there's too much in here I thought maybe I'll keep it so I can finish it but I think there's too much and then the last bit in here the two eyebrow pencils these just stay in here I'm trying to finish this guy and maybe I pull this guy out just so I can concentrate on using this. Yeah, let's do that. I never do shop my stash for my brows because I keep using one until it's just gone. Um, so, lip products. I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches off camera and then I'll come back and show you um, what each one is. I'm going to be keeping most of them in here. Um, I'm only going to move some out because I'm supposed to be using a lot of these a, a lot of those for a full month like the whole month of November so I'll do swatches and I'll be right okay so I swatched as many as I could on my hand uh, so the first one here is the bare minerals uh, this is the shade tantalizer sky here I'm gonna move it I'm gonna keep it in here uh, the next one right next to it is Laura Geller color luster lip gloss in the shade is sugar cane I really like this color um, and I really like this one. The NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade is San Paolo. 
it's really beautiful super comfortable on the lips right next to it is uh, NYX uh, extra creamy lipstick in the shade is B52 this is also really comfortable staying in here um, this guy's gonna come out this is MAC uh, cream in your coffee uh, this wasn't part of my November lipsticks, but I, it's been in here for four weeks now, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. It's really pretty. It kind of has, um, it's kind of similar to this one, but a little bit more chocolatey. I'm going to pull this guy out. Now on the second row, the first one is the MAC Star New Collection. This is the shade Once Upon the Stars, one of my favorite new lipsticks. Uh, right next to that is Nabla Noor or Nabila Noor, an e.l.f. collab. I haven't used this one on my lips yet. This is the only one I don't... Yeah, this is one I haven't used on my lips. So definitely have to keep it in here. Let me move these over right here. And those are what's staying. Okay, right next to it is the e.l.f. What is this called? Matte lip color. This is the shade uh, Fuchsia. Kind of similar to the shade NYX, just has a little bit more shine to it, does it not? Okay, right next to that is, I think this is kind of like one of my least favorite. This is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade is Boho. I just find it a little too ashy. So, and then this one right here, the last one, this might be a declutter. This is Rimmel London. This is the shade Amethyst Shimmer. I just don't like how kind of like glowy it is. Um, so those are staying in here. I only the cream cream in your coffee. I pulled that one out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out as well. So let me go ahead and do a really quick swatch. This is Too Faced Gingerbread Man. Um, this was in that set. It was a bronzer and lipstick duo. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the Dose of Colors. This is the shade. Warm and fuzzy, it's really, really pretty color. But both of these are gonna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these in because I still haven't used them again. This is Bite, uh, Bite Lipstick, hash, hashtag Bite of NYC. Um, it's really pretty, I don't know why I haven't used it yet. Kinda looks like it could be a summery shade though. That's probably why I haven't used it yet. And then the last one is by Jouet and this is Bronze Rose. Um, I haven't used this guy either, so I, I would like to play with it. It feels like a super comfortable formula. So, there you have it. I'm only pulling three lipsticks out. Uh, the lip liners are in here. I'm going to keep all three of them. I had one by Rimmel. This is like a thousand kisses, or no, exaggerate. In the shade is an enchantment. I love this color. I love this lip liner. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. <sighs> have a cat hair on me. It's like very very pink tone um keeping it and then this one i haven't used yet oh they're kind of very similar actually huh oh okay this is by bare minerals and this is a statement lip liner the shade is genius and then the last lip liner is the one by elf and nabila noor like it was in their um, collab kit this and the lipstick were together i have to sharpen this guy I don't know what shade this is, but it's staying. Okay, now let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my desk in front of me, put everything away, and then we'll go ahead and shop my stash uh, for products to use for the next two weeks. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and shop my stash for new items to use for the next two weeks. Uh, let's see, where do I wanna begin? How about we pull in a new mascara because I know that that one by... Uh, what is it called? Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Mascara is about to dry out. Um, and I'm also gonna pull in a new eyebrow thing. This is the Essence Make Me Brow um, because the e.l.f. one is also on its very last leg. I think for mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the Monsieur Big by Lancome. So I'm gonna pull this in and then the Essence one. Um, I guess I should have just pulled the other two out when I was telling you about what's in there, but I didn't. Forgive me. Uh, what do I have in here? I do want, I want to pull in the Patrick Tell blush for sure. I just, uh, shop, or I just, uh, hauled it from Sephora. I want to pull this in. 
For concealer, I kind of miss this guy and I really want to open the new one. Uh, this is Maybelline Age Rewind, but I also just got the one that Tati's been raving about and then everybody else raving about, the Revlon Candid Concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the Revlon one. Hopefully the shade is good for me. We'll have to see. I'm going to pull this in and then I'm going to pull in a concealer that's been in my collection, um, not a brand new one. Uh, I, I oh, and I also have the one by CoverGirl. Forget it. Let's pull both, both new ones, CoverGirl and the Candid, Revlon Candid. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna pull this guy in. This is the Kaja like sparkling eye pigment, the Moon Crystal, and I picked up the shade Magic. This was also in my Sephora haul. Might as well do it. Let's do the Milk Makeup Lit Highlighter Sephora Haul. Um, this is the highlighter that I thought was very similar to the Kevin Aquan. This is like the Dew Stick. I'm going to bring it in. Oh my gosh. Anything else? Am I going to shop my stash for any open products? Uh, let's see what's in the next drawer because I kind of want to play with one of these trios from Tarte. But let's check what's in here. This is my second new makeup drawer. And I know I want to pull in this palette, so that will make it three eyeshadow palettes, and then I'll shop my stash for one more. This is the Full Moon palette. Uh, is it Black Moon? Black Moon Cosmetics, the Full Moon palette. So I'm going to pull this in. Um, I had requested uh, samples of this foundation from Sephora, so but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use it this time. Um, ooh, I want to do these because we pulled out three lip products, so we're going to pull in three other ones. These are the Lime Crime Lippies. Um, I'm going to pull those in. I think, I'll, I think I would really like to try them. And foundations. Uh, I know. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I placed an order on Pat McGrath. Ooh, I kind of want to pull this guy in. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, what am I going to do? I do want to play with it. This was like, a, so you place any order on Pat McGrath website and then you got this uh, lipstick for free. And I got like a red, a red lip liner. Oh, should I pull both of these in? Then I'm going to have so many lip products. I think I'm gonna pull these in. I'm gonna put this guy back because I'm gonna pull in the Patrick Tall one. Fair. Three lip products. I pulled out three. I'm gonna pull in three. Let's let let's stick to that. For foundations and primers and everything else, there's so much in here. Uh, foundation, foundation, foundation. I do have these two like um, tinted moisturizer. Tinted moisturizer. Dinted moisturizer kind of thing. This is the Sephora Matte Perfector moisturizer, and this is CoverGirl Clean Matte. I think, uh, I don't know. Which one should I do? Uh, I haven't tried either of them. I'm going to pull the Sephora one. I'm going to pull this in. And... I do want to play with some of my other foundations, but I have all these foundation samples and all these beautiful new things to play with. Uh, this was an Ipsy. I do want to play with a different face style, so no, not that one. How about we pull this guy in? It's been in here for a while. This is the Kylie blush, um, Kylie Jenner blush. What is it? Close to perfect. We'll do this guy. I think that's it for new stuff, like... Man, I pulled in so many new things, right? Did I? How about we do this itty bitty setting spray? Probably could finish it before the end of the year. This is by Tarte. This was a gift with purchase uh, from Ulta. So I'm gonna pull this in. Let's do this guy, the Violet Voss Liquid Shadow in Dream. This is like the perfect time of the year for this kind of shade. And for primer, should I try this one? The step one by Makeup Forever? Let's do that. Let's do this guy. 
This came in a, a long time ago in a Sephora play. So I'm going to pull this guy in. Oh, okay. So many new things pulled in. I'm excited for setting sprays. Since I pulled in that itty bitty mini from Tarte and maybe I should just use that one. I don't know. I don't know if this is enough for two weeks. Um, I kind of want to start, you know, decreasing how much I have. I know I really like this guy. Yeah, I'm going to stick to just the Tarte one because I would really like to finish it. And I have two setting sprays and projects. So it would be a good time to like get some use out of them. So just the one. For primers, I do have a couple minis. And I pulled in that other mini. Um, maybe that should be enough. Uh, let's see. I, I have used this guy before. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stick to the minis that I have. What is this one? This is step one. Did they change the packaging? Step one. Step one. I've never used either of them. Why does this say two on it? Oh, smoothing primer, hydrating primer. Oh, okay. Step one is in like primer got it uh we'll, we'll stick to the smoothing one um i don't want to pull this guy about the radiance one i know i have a radiance one uh photo finish primer the radiance should we do this or yeah let's do this guy Let's do this guy. I've never tried it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it in. Okay, here's a drawer that you basically never see because I never pull anything from here. So what I have in here are like all of my lashes, uh, like lash glue, lash stuff is all here. Um, and then over here I have backups of mascaras, brow stuff, um, eye primers, things like that that I don't really... Um, Pull in often but because I pulled out I, I put it back in here because uh, I pulled this guy out I'm gonna go ahead and pull a different um, brow pencil in this time around and oh, don't need this guy eye primer don't need this mascara okay where are you all brow stuff brow stuff mini lots lots of mini mascaras um, okay, I'm gonna pull one of these. I know this is open, and I know this is open. Let's see which one. Are, which one are we gonna do? We're gonna do one of these billion dollar brow. I remember liking this guy, and then this is pop whatever. I don't remember what I thought of this. And then the Winky Lux, it has that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the billion dollar brows this time around. Let's pull this in. So that's what's in here. You guys never see this. And there you go, here it is. Brow stuff and mascaras and lashes and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the other side. We'll pick out one more eyeshadow palette. Okay, I still wanna pick out one more eyeshadow palette and uh here's i have both drawers open oh my goodness <laughs> it is daunting kind of kind of every time i open this drawer it's kind of daunting how much is in here um not complaining i love all of my well most of them i love them uh, i think i would like to pull in something that I don't know I haven't reached for in a while uh, quite a bit of stuff I haven't reached for in a while so how about I do I'm gonna do one of these because I have a couple palettes in here that I just like this one this one and what else I feel like I just want to get rid of I, I, I'm not happy having them um, they just sit in here I don't use them is it this one this one so I'm gonna pull one of these and 
it will be kind of like a chopping block kind of thing whether I want to keep it or not I'm gonna start doing this I need to start doing this because uh, yeah I think I have 104, 105, maybe a little bit more eyeshadow palettes. So that's like using two a week for me to get through them all in one year. And that's just nuts. Like crazy. Uh, why do I feel like I just recently had this in my stash? Was it the peanut butter jelly? I think it was the peanut butter jelly and I decided I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna do the peanut butter and honey because all of these are actually shades that I have in other palettes. So this might be a declutter after this week. I'm gonna start doing this every time I shop my stash. Pick one palette that I just, you know, need to make up my mind about it once and for all. Let's do this one, this, this go. It's, turn, it's time has come for foundations. I only pulled in one, so I'm gonna pull in something else. Uh, what was it that I pulled in? Oh, I pulled in the one by uh, Sephora, the Sephora matte like BB cream kind of thing. I think what I really wanna pull in, I'm gonna pull in both of these because I'm really right, light right now. These are kind of like my, I can mix both of these shades to kind of get whatever color I could be throughout the year. The healthy foundation, uh, I'm just gonna pull these out. So I'll have two options of foundations for the next two weeks. Um, by Physicians Formula, the healthy foundation, I have the shade MN3 and LW2. I can mix them and basically get you know, depends on how much I use from each one. I can get like a, a good shade match all year round basically. So I'm going to do that. And I pulled in two concealers. But there's one, there's two or three concealers in here that I don't know if I really like. So I think I'm going to play with them a little bit this week again. And then try to narrow it down. So this will be another like chopping kind of item, chopping block. Uh, one of them is this one by Rimmel. This is the Stay Matte. It does not stay matte. And this is not full coverage. I think it says full coverage. It's not. And the shade is linen. So I'm going to pull this in because I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. It was either this or this CoverGirl one. This CoverGirl one is kind of like, I like it if I'm not wearing any makeup. But I mean, if I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm not going to use a concealer. But if I'm wearing like a full face of makeup, this is not enough. So it's either this or this. So I'm going to go for the Rimmel. I'm going to pull the Rimmel one in. Okay, for powders, let's see. What are we going to pull in this time? Uh, let's start with a buffing powder. I'm going to pull in the Milani. I really like this guy as a finishing powder. Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I like it as like a final step in my makeup. So I'm going to pull that. Um, I do want a loose powder. Like like a, an all over the face loose powder. Did I leave anything? I did not. So I think I do want to pull in the Huda Beauty one. It's been a while. How about one of these? Because again, I don't remember the last time I used one of these. Um, let's do the Maybe this Maybelline one. And this is the Shine Free Loose Powder and the shade is light. So I'm going to do that. And then... Oh, I wanted this one. I know I wanted this one for sure because I love this powder. So what am I going to do? What should I do? I'm going to use that one because I haven't used it in a long time. I need a powder for under my eye. I'm going to use this guy. Yeah, I'm going to pull in this NYX uh, HD finishing powder for under my eye. And then maybe one more just because who knows if I'm going to like... Um, that loose powder by Maybelline. How about we do, I'm gonna do this guy. The Rimmel Stay Matte, I do have a giant pan in here. So I'm gonna do this guy. That's a lot of powders, but we got our bases covered. Um, I'm good on single shadows. I think, I don't think there's anything in here that I would like to play with. Um, although it might be a really good time to play with either this one or where's the one that I just got from my friend Valerie. I really like this one too. Uh, which one do I want to pull in? I think I'm going to go for the Marc Jacobs one. This is one of my favorites and I love it for holiday time. Um, this might amp up the look. 
So yeah, I'm gonna pull this guy in because it's been a while. I, I just had this not that long ago. Alrighty, from face palettes, I think what I'm gonna pull in, um, it's just been a long time since I played with it. I'm gonna do this one by It Cosmetics and then I'll have, then I can pull in other products because it's just only a blush, highlight, and a contour. So uh, this, I think this is what created the addiction to face palettes. I think that was the number one palette and then addiction started okay up next is bronzers and i told you i want to pull in a cream bronzer or a contour and i'm gonna go ahead the only i i i just have the three the one that's in the tarte uh, pro glow something this guy and then this guy i think i'm gonna pull this in i i really like it the bondi bay by nude sticks this is i i really like this guy so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this in uh, we can go crazy with bronzer options because I did not pick out any bronzers. I did not get any bronzers. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy bronzer options. Now I'm stumped. Now I don't know. How about a bronze booster? Yeah, I'm gonna do the bronze booster by Physicians Formula. Kind of nice and subtle. We need more than one. I. Uh, should we do one of these? They're so tightly packed in here. One of these. Either the Maybelline City Bronzer or the Milani one. I think the Milani one is too light for me right now. Um, well, I'm as light as I could be, so that's like might be the perfect time for it. I'm gonna pull this in, the Bare Mineral war Warmth. And then just one more option, just one more. Just one more. I know I love this guy. I love this guy. I love all of my makeup. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is like the, what is it? Luminous Bronze Light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, blush. The two blushes that I pulled in are kind of on the subtle side. I really need a blush declutter. This is just ridiculous. What haven't I used in such a long time? A lot of stuff. Uh, these for sure. I'm gonna go for, since the other two blushes are kind of like peachy, nude, I'm gonna go for something crazy. Let's do this Too Faced one. This is really pretty. Um, it's bulky, but what are you gonna do right i'm gonna do this guy as well this is the siate london uh what is this this is date night i'm gonna do this this is really pretty glowy how about one more option Alrighty. so i did have to stop uh i did get a phone call and then i went and picked up my son and we got dinner so let's get back to it um, the two blushes that I do have picked out so far is the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush and this is something about Barry and I do have the Ciate London Date Night picked out as well. Um, I was debating, I remember debating about something else. Uh, I was thinking maybe one of the Bare Minerals ones. Um, not Bare Minerals, Physicians Formula ones. Let's do this guy. I think I want to do this guy. Yeah the physician's formula uh powder it says powder palette i don't know how is it palette mineral glow pearls blush and this is a natural pearl um it kind of looks really pretty but i remember it had like a an overspray on it but the color underneath is beautiful oh that's stunning i think i'm gonna do this guy i think that would be nice that's kind of summery let me see becca I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the options right now. I'm gonna do something sort of berry color. Kind of like, you know, deep for for fall. Let's do this one. Remember, I really like this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna do this elf one. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna do this elf uh, blushing rose. Okay, now lastly, let's do uh, highlighters. I did pick out a few options of highlighters. Um, but let's, let's do a couple more. Let's do this one. How about we do this guy? This is Lilac Geode. 
by uh, Becca. I feel like I just had it. Did I just have it then? Maybe not. And then I'm gonna do, I think I would like to do this guy too. I'm gonna do this Laura Geller, uh, like the big gelato highlighter, illuminator in diamond dust. Let's do this. So two options, two kind of like fun options. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the door and then uh, we'll do swatches. All right, you guys, I went ahead and put everything back in here. Let's go through it real quick. Uh, for powders, I did put the NYX HD Finishing Powder as well as the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Press Powder. And this is in the shade Transparent. I do have this Maybelline Loose Powder in the shade is Light and the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. Um, again, I do have the Laura Geller in here just because I'm working on um, getting some uses out of it. It's in one of my projects. It's in a uh, Roses Are Red project, uh, like use up project. Okay, for bronzers, I do have Bondi Bay by Nude Sticks. This is one of my really favorite cream contours or cream bronzers. Uh, it's very natural looking. It's really easy to blend, like very easy to blend. Um, I really like that. Next, I do have the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. Um, it doesn't swatch like very like anything special but it's really beautiful on the skin uh, i really really enjoyed this guy the next uh, bronzer in here is bronze booster by physicians formula um this also is like a very natural bronzer it's uh it's very uh, buildable um it looks really beautiful on as well and it's kind of look very i don't want to keep saying natural but it does it looks very natural um, I did pull in the Bare Minerals Warmth little like a loose uh, powder, loose bronzer. Um, honestly, I don't remember what I thought of this when I used it previously. Hmm, let's see. Looks like it can be very, it can go heavy handed. You're not going to have to worry about looking like uh, muddy or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to playing with this. I do have a couple of these. I have two minis and a full size. So better use them, huh? And then next in here, the other bronzer is in this palette, the It Cosmetics palette. Um, this is a really beautiful, another like very natural contour shade. Um, see, it's a little more ashy than the other two. But again, this is... A really beautiful palette. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, blushes since we're already here with this blush in here. I don't know the names of these uh, like the blush bronzer and highlight in this palette. I'm not sure what they are called but here's the blush. It's got a very nice sheen to it. The other blush that I have is the Too Faced Sweethearts blush. Um, I typically just swirl my brush into all three shades, all three sides, and this is definitely more, ooh, I don't remember it having glittery kind of chunks, but it's so beautiful on the skin. Um, looking forward to playing with this. It's been a really long time since I played with it. Uh, let's do the rest of the blushes. I do have this Kylie Pressed Blush Powder uh, in Close to Perfect. Let's see. Okay, that's close to nothing. It's more like it. Okay. Um, I feel like it's very similar to the Patrick Tall blush where it just is just gonna have to be applied. Here's the Patrick Tall blush, and this is in She's Sincere. I remember when I swatched this in the store, I was like, okay, this kinda not doing anything for me. But then the girl um, at Sephora, I applied it onto my skin and I was just blown away. So there it is. Again, another very natural blush. Okay, there are two more blushes in here. I have the e.l.f. Uh, Blushing Rose. This is a lot more intense than any of the other ones. And my hand is a little wet, so of course it's even more intense. Oh, I have three more blushes. Uh, NARS uh, Dolce Vita, a little bit more um, like mauve than the one by e.l.f. This one by e.l.f. is so beautiful, my goodness. And then Date Night by Ciate London. 
this is another like very subtle but glowy blush. There it is. Okay, now for um, highlighters, we have the one that's in the It Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna do highlighters over here. That's really pretty. I, I haven't used this palette in so long. I really enjoy it. Anastasia Amrezi was here last time, but I just didn't use it. And let's do these two. Becca Lilac Geode. I think this was holiday last year, or it came in a set during last year's holiday. Like, it was a holiday set last Christmas. I don't know what words I'm trying to find. Uh, Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. This is pretty cool. Ooh, that's really pretty. There's that. And then the last highlighter. Oh, actually, I have two more. There's that Dew Stick from... Uh, this is also Ciati. Ciati. Dew, dewy Stick or Dew Stick. And this is the shade Glow. It's very... Just like dewy looking. I like it. I like products like that. And then lastly is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. And this is in the shade Lit. It's not open yet. Let's try and open it. And here it is. Ooh, there it is. That's pretty. So these are all the highlighters I will be using for the next two weeks. Moving right along, I do have the couple concealers in here. I did have the, or I do have the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Candid Concealer, the shade 27. I have Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Linen and CoverGirl in the shade Natural Ivory. Light, deep, medium. <laughs> Um, I did pull in both of these, the Essence Make Me Brow, and I think this is brunette, or do they have more than one shade? Oh, this is brownie brows. Okay, this is still brand new. I love it full. And then I pulled in the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I did pull out both of these, the Better Than Sex Mascara. It's kind of like drying out and crumbling all over my face. And the Elf Wow Brow, it's kind of like dried up. It's just like the little, only thing left are the fibers, but there's no product like that holds the brows together. So there's that. Um, and then for liquid eyeshadows, we did pull quite a few this time. Kaja in the shade is Magic. Um, let's do a quick swatch of this. Hello, little pretty shadow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really pretty. Um, Stila is here from last time, and then this is Violet Voss. I'm um, kind of like Stila glitter and glows. This is the shade Dream. There it is, right there. Beautiful for this time. And then my absolute favorite single shadow, Marc Jacobs. Ah, oh, I never want to touch it because it's just so pretty. And this is in the shade Sequence. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Like a beautiful texture to the eye without being like flaky or anything like that. And so I do have the two little primers in here. Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and then Smashbox, the Radiance, Photo Finish Radiance Primer. Uh, the two foundations, or I'm calling this one, the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation and in two different shades. I do have the foundation by Sephora, or this is actually like... Uh, BB Cream Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer and I had picked out the shade 07 Linen. So there is that. The other lip products that I pulled in are these three. So let me show you what they are. This is Pat McGrath. What is it called? Uh, Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil and the shade is Major. It's a red. Um, 
So yeah, Pat McGrath was having, with any purchase, you get this free liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Revelation Red Liquid Lipstick. So I purchased the lip liner and I got the lipstick for free. Oh, that's pretty. I'm excited. And then the Patrick Ta, she is secure. Oh, I cannot wait to play with this or wear it. It feels so, like the formula feels just so comfortable <laughs> just by like swatching it. Oh, I did forget to say I do have the Tarte Stay Spray and I did pull in um, the billion dollar brow pencil thing. Hopefully I like it. Um, there's a lot of product in here. Ooh. I don't like fat pencils like this, but we'll see. We'll give it a shot. And then lastly, what's in here is the eyeshadow palettes. Um, there is the one by Too Faced, the peanut butter and honey. I don't know how I feel about this. It's I remember it being like just very blah. Okay, well, I guess we'll see how it's gonna apply, right? And then I do have the Uma palette, which we did swatches for at the beginning of the video forever ago. The Anastasia Jackie Aina palette. And then the last palette in here, last eyeshadow palette, is the Black Moon Cosmetics. This is the Full Moon palette. I'm really excited to play with this. <laughs> there it is. I'm super excited to play with it. I want to do a swatch of this guy. Oh, we do the black. Ooh, that feels creamy. Okay. I'm really excited to play with this palette. This is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or if you like Chop My Stash videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe and if you have any comments or you, wanna, you want me to show you something more in depth or anything like that, leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.